Hello everyone, and welcome back to a little extra episode of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Like I said in the previous episode, I made my way through all the Pokemon that could still evolve in my box and put them to level 35 as we agreed upon. Some notable evolutions are all down here. We've got a Vibrava now, Jumpluff, Kingler, Electrode, Rumpardos, Dugong, Lantern, Sudowoodo, and Pupitar. That means that these Pokémon are all going to have unique and cool new fusions. And since it's quite a lot of Pokémon, I didn't want to fill an entire regular episode. So this is going to be a little extra episode of just fusions with these Pokémon. And perhaps we'll get a new team member from it. There are still Pokémon that need to evolve, like Wartel just barely didn't make it. Ponyard isn't evolved, Kabuto isn't evolved, Klink hasn't evolved quite yet. Man, that is... Those you know about Pokemon, man, they evolve so late. For now, though, let's go see if we can find some cool fusions with the Pokemon we have here. As usual, I'll cut to the moment where the custom sprite is revealed and we'll react to it together. And I make a promise right now, from these Pokemon we have here, I'm going to select a new party member. We got our cool party right here, but I want one more, preferably something that can use Surf. So, let's just jump straight to it. Wow, this Vibrava is cool, pretty cool. Wava. I like the eyes and the wings there. <laughs> this feels like a, uh, a Team Rocket Wava Fed disguise. Whoa, I love the pattern on the wings like this. That is so cool looking. You know, people do a lot of creative things with these patterns. I love this Arbok Vibrava looking really cool. This is pretty adorable. I like it. Loving the wings. You know, I wasn't sure what I was going to expect from Jumpluff and Farfetch, but this wasn't what I was expecting. I kind of like it though. It's kind of cute. An unexpected Pokemon like Arbok to fuse with Jumpluff, but it's not bad. <laughs> oh, that's kind of... It looks a little crooked with the head, but I like the idea they gone for here. Good job. This is adorable. Belluff. Oh, I love it. Oh, Jump Awesome. Oh, I love it. I'm curious what this becomes. Yeah, I... Mm. I feel like the proportions are really off. I think that if the belly was a little smaller and the head a little bigger, it might have been better. But I love the fact that it's very unique. Little grass cotton boxing gloves. Adorable. This is Jump Love and Electrode, and I am here for it. It's so adorable. Aww. Grass Electric, the ball cotton weed Pokemon. It sure is. This is pretty cute, but I'm not sure what's going on in the mouth there. This is so much better than the other one! Jump Gong! Aww. <laughs> uh, Far Road. You're a big round duck. I like that Electropini is in a little ball capsule. That's adorable. Whoa! Electro Dash! Now that is a good electrode combination. The Fireball Pokemon. They appear in great numbers at electric power plants, but once an Electro Dash turns serious, its fire remains flare and blaze as it gallops up its way up to 150 miles per hour. Sheesh. A soundproof run away. Soundproof, man. Neutral. What would the moveset be like? Sure, Electro Ball. The faster we are, the more damage we do. No need for self destruct. Light screen. Uh. Um, I'm okay. Wow. I'm going to look at these stats. 86 speed. Not bad for level 33. I kind of like it. There's a high contender for the slot party. It feels like someone just jammed a clink into an electrode. Quite literally. Clink code. King out. I'm not sure where the beak comes from. But I kind of like it. I love the fact that the claws in our Pokeballs, it actually opens up for electricity. That's really cool. Whoa, that is, uh, that is something. I'm not a fan of the face, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I, 
You know, the silhouette looks a lot more interesting than what this is. It looks silly. I love the little petal as a little propeller on the back. And then the gloom and the blossom as two anglers. Oh, it's kind of cute, though. Talk about a bad hair day. Lanal, what's going on with you here, buddy? The Owl Light Pokemon with Volt Absorb. Interesting. I love the little dress here of Lanosum. It's so cute. Whoa, now this is a creature you do not want to mess with. Arler, are you serious? With a big mouth claw? Oh man, that is a cool Pokemon. This Pokemon has a terrifically strong constricting power, but since it can also have these Pokemon click the tires. Man, that is intimidate, lonely. I kind of want to see the moveset. Acid, that's special. Stockpile, not interested in that. Alright, interesting. Pretty good attack stat. Intimidate too, so it lowers the attack of others. I feel like the moment uh, Ponyard evolves into Bisharp, this might be a more interesting Pokemon. I see the potential, but it's not there quite yet. Okay, King Ardos, you are a top contender for that party slot, my guy. With a spite like that, the Head Pincer Pokemon. It's powerful head, but it's enough power to shatter the most durable things on impact. I believe you. I 100% believe you there. Oh, it's so cool. Is is that Rampardos wielding its own head? What is going on here? This is wacky. But I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Loving the stance here, Rapiados. Fire and rock type. It'll be very weak to water types. But it could be interesting. Alright, who ordered the T-Rex? Because, oh my god, this is an awesome! Holy moly! Oh, that is so cool. It's a straight up even more awesome dinosaur. Wow, poison rock. Ooh, this one is pretty cool too, though. Clean Cardos? Yes, please. I am not liking those teeth on the pattern. Oh my god. I don't think that's a pattern anymore. It's kind of cute, I gotta say. Rapagon, loving the bubbly hair. And speaking of bubbly hair, Doodash. Aww. Ice and fire. That's an interesting type combination. Alright, with all the fusions done, I think I settled on a Pokemon that I think would make a good addition to our team. But you're going to have to wait until next real episode to see it. If you can make a guess down in the comments, do let me know. Uh, I think based on my reactions, you might know which one it could be. But we'll guess all I have to see. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you again here next time for some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. But until then, bye bye.